Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to resolve conflicts with um, jQuery and other libraries, okay? So what do I mean by that? Okay, let's assume that you have some other library um, included in your page like this. So you have some script here, and um, it's not jQuery, but it's linking to some other um, library. But that library also needs to use the dollar sign. Okay, so now we have a problem because we cannot have two libraries both using the dollar sign. And the reason we have a problem is because jQuery, where if you include it after any script that uses the dollar sign, it overrides that dollar sign value. But all is not lost because jQuery is smart enough to cache whatever previous value was in the dollar sign. So how can we get around that issue of telling jQuery do not take charge of the dollar sign, leave it for that other library? And how we do that is by calling the no conflict function. Okay, so let's say now we've included jQuery. Okay, and we want to tell jQuery to um, let go of that um, dollar sign. How we can do it is calling the no conflict uh, function. So we can say dollar dot no conflict. Okay. So here, what's happening is jQuery is um, telling itself that I want to restore whatever was here. Uh, that was used by the previous library so let's just remove this here because uh, there's no library called age so i'll just comment this out i'll go back in the browser just to first show you that um, jquery is taking charge of um, the dollar sign and then later we are going to um, call the no conflict just to see that it has returned the previous value so i'll come to the console here i'll say dollar um let's just remove this Okay, so as you can see, the function here is the function that jQuery has there initially. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, do this script. So let's just say um, var dollar sign equals to something. Okay, so when we don't call no conflict, jQuery is going to overwrite it. Let me just um, quickly um, verify that for you. Let's just remove this annoying script here that keeps running main here. So I'll just do this, comment it out. So we'll refresh and um, let's call the dollar sign. Press enter. You see that J um, the dollar sign does not have that string that we have created um, up here. As you can see, jQuery has overwritten it. But let's just call this no conflict here. Okay. And then um, come back here. So I refresh. Okay. We have an error, right? So I know what the problem is because jQuery has restored the value of dollar sign to this string and we're calling that um, inside this file here. We're trying to call it as a function. So it's not a function now, it is a string. So the browser is telling us that string is not a function. So I'll refresh this here. Now you can see that the error is gone. So now let's inspect the dollar sign and see what's in there. We should find that original string in there. When I press enter now, we have um, something. It, as we had in inside of our index.html because jQuery has restored the value. So let's change this to something else. So let's say something else and um, let's go back to our browser, refresh, um, inspect dollar sign, as you can see something else. Now, just to verify that when you don't call the no conflict, it's going to be overwritten. Let's go back in our browser, refresh, and um, I'll just inspect what's in the dollar sign. As you can see, now jQuery is taking control of it, okay? So that's it guys, that's how you um, restore previous values that are in the dollar sign. And just one last thing, um, if you call the no conflict, you may be thinking, okay, how do I use the dollar sign uh, again? Um, because I want to use jQuery and that other library. So all is not lost because you can still use um, jQuery um, with the fully spelled jQuery. So let's go back in our browser after calling no conflict, um, refresh. We still have availability of jQuery, okay? So all is not lost, as you can see, jQuery also um, is the same as the dollar sign, all right? So that's it, guys, um, for this tutorial video. I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Cheers, bye-bye.